Denman and Imperial Commander who are going to fight this out. Fraction producing a grandstand finish. Four legs clear of Denman. Imperial Commander wins the Gold Cup. Hands up. You look a bit stiff, but. <laughs> Do we let me down, Paddy? <laughs> We're at the VIP gym in the north with former two-way world champion Carl Frampton. He's going to get Paddy Brennan fit for the Cheltenham Festival. Can you get him sharp? I think I can. I think Paddy's uh, a determined man if I can get him fit. I can't give you any advice but I keep, can give you one help, and that is my Rasta Go Faster Sweatbands. Oh, I think I'll so. need it. <laughs> and away you go, and I'm gonna let you boys take the stage, Carl. Put him through his paces. I haven't wrapped anyone's hands before, I don't think ever, so we'll have a go. Tell me if this is too tight, because... Just protecting your wrist. Yeah, of course, it yeah. needs to be, so it's not moving about when you're hitting, it's a solid thing. So when you're getting ready to get out there and sort whoever it is, are you nervous at this stage? Um, well, you, you have to be relaxed. You know, you have to be kind of... You need to be focused, obviously, and everything needs to be razor sharp, but you need to be relaxed because if you're not and you get carried away, you're, you're wasting a lot of nervous energy for, for no reason. I suppose it's probably the same. Probably... Like, as a, as a jockey, we get a five-minute call. Someone like Ruby Walsh at Cheltenham, once his cap is tied and once, once they say, time to go, he's gone. And that never happens anywhere else. From I've never seen him do that. He's, he's just so ready. So I try and be close behind him. Could we let me down, Paddy? <laughs> Carl, you said you were not bloody good. This is, I'm basic. I'm a basic skipper. You skip like my wee girl. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she skips much better than me. It's buzzing now, isn't it? We got here first. It's the way it's always. It's, it's the best gym I've ever been in. It's just atmosphere's unreal, full of characters, everyone full of camaraderie, everyone pushing each other on, but it's good crack. You okay, buddy? He reminds me a bit of Pippi Longstocking, <laughs> but um, <laughs> he's, uh, it's a unique style. In your sport, there must have been some really good shots you've thrown. Yeah. Um, is there any favourites and is there any there, you'd like to show me? There's a couple of knockouts that. I like. You um, don't need to knock me no, out. No, not as. <laughs> There's a guy called Hugo Cazares. So he was a southpaw. If you put that foot forward, the shot that I knocked him out with was the second round, I think. It took me a while to kind of get in the range. He was a clever fighter. Cazares threw a jab out yeah. here. And I kind of slipped inside and hit him an almighty left You've foot. got him every bit you wanted. Well, like that, like that. Brilliant left hand. She poured punch from Frampton. Another favourite of mine is against a guy called Jeremy Paradis, a French kid for it was a European title shot, and it was a final eliminator to fight Leo Santa Cruz. That's a nice, sweet right hand from Frampton. It was winning the fight, it was cruising, it was feeling comfortable, um, but he was a tough guy, and I was hitting him a lot to the head, and he was taking, taking the shots yeah. all day. We were very close in here. Yeah. The foreheads were almost nearly on each other, yeah. so I just waited. And he threw a shot. So if you if you throw like something, yeah. I was kind of, I kind of took it. Yeah. And then I was just dunk. Oh. To it as well. Good down, good body shot. You can say that again. What's your attitude towards that other person? Is it like when you're growing up and you meet a kid on the street and you want to have a fight and like you go, Nah, it's just it's a sport. You don't you know look at it's trying to hurt that person or. But, uh, you look at it. You're trying to win. You're trying to win whatever whatever I it think, takes. I, yeah, and I think there's. Fighters have this kind of diff an instinct, you just want to win. You want to win. And you'll do whatever it takes to win, and you don't wish any harm on your opponent, but if you see an opportunity to knock him out, you've got to take it. it. Yeah, yeah, because he's, he's thinking the exact same, same. way. Same, yeah, yeah. You don't want to get hit in the chin. Yeah, right? Chin's so, not good, no. Well, it's, if you get hit in the chin, no, it, it, it'll send you. That's, where you get, that's when you get knocked out. Chin or temple is okay. usually the ones that put you to sleep. So, so the job is the one that gets you in, in and out of trouble, gets you in close to your fighter. You can win. If you perfect the job, I could turn you into a world champion. Probably. <laughs> right, so, <laughs> here we go. Job. Fast or not? That's speed there. So, fast. Job. Don't be moving the head or you're, you kind of moved your body before you threw the job. So, <laughs> just punch. Punch with your, your body. Don't be like leaning forward. So, punch. 
When you're punching every, it comes from the feet, it starts from the feet, the hips, and it right up through your body, and, and that's where the power comes from and the speed, all right? That's better. And as monks jockeys, we like, we, could, we, we compete and we text each other, are you okay? Or amongst boxers, do you text each other and? Uh, maybe not, not so much. You're racing with the same guys yeah, yeah, on yeah. a daily basis. Yeah, yeah. So you get to become friends with them. Hmm. Um, it's different for boxers. You, you have a, a build up to a fight where you see them often enough and you have the fight and then you maybe don't see them too yeah. often again, but there's always a mutual respect. After you've, after you've shared a ring with another man, there's always that, that mutual respect. Now, nah, one, two, we're gonna throw, so I want it to be, this is the speed. I want you to do it slow, but at the end, it needs to be that speed. So one, two, boom, boom. And again, there you are, right? A bit of a, bit of a natural here. It's not bad, buddy. I think in just getting to know you over the last sort of, honestly, Kyle, your attitude is just so level. Um, whereas I'm a little bit more revved. I think it's horses for courses. Yeah. To use a, a good phrase, but um, you know, you just different people can deal with things different in different things. ways, and yeah. some people get more fired up. Yeah. I like to be. I like the tram. I, I I feel like I'm pretty laid back. Just forget about that. It's all nonsense. We'll see you on the night. And that's, that's a that's wonderful attitude. attitude. But as I've got older, that's that's the attitude is is the winner. Yeah. That's the, the best possible way to address, and it's the same in horse racing for mm. me. It's just trying to get more level. When you win, maybe not to go so up, and when you lose, not to come so back down. Because mm. in racing, we lose a lot more than we win. I'll, win, I'll have this run in the race course, okay? Have you enjoyed yourself today, Paddy? Well, honestly, Carl, it's been amazing. I've really, I've, it's really opened my eyes into your sport and how fit and how strong you look. Like from when you first walked in the door, it's just, it's that sort of fitness, the body look, and you obviously work so hard on it. And as I said earlier, I know the cameras are here, but I, I would have been here. With just you, I've enjoyed every second. How would you like to come to Fergal O'Brien and experience what I do every day? Maybe get you on a horse, but I'm not sure your trainer will let you, but just show you the, the side of what I do. I'd absolutely love to. So uh, if you can pick me a winner at Cheltenham, it's a deal. Deal it is. Game on.